Uh, test, test. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> testing, testing. Okay. Good test. Good test. All right. So. All right. Welcome. We're gonna go ahead and do a flight tutorial setting setup for PC players. Controllers, you have it easy. Um, so one of the biggest things about Anthem is getting your sensitivity correctly. It is extremely important that you get your sensitivity correct for everything. So go into free play when you can, when you first unlock it, if you're having issues or wherever you are, whatever mission you're doing, just go, go out there and we're going to go to your settings. We're going to go to controls, <clears throat> keyboard, mouse. This is where everything's going to be. Okay. Uh, notice how my stuff is set low. I use low sensitivity, so everything is kind of geared somewhat towards that. Um, but I will say from the demos to the full release, the controls are much better, so you shouldn't have to do so much tweaking. So I run 800 DPI on my mouse with, in this game, is a 0.3 sensitivity. All right, it works. I've had no issues with it. Uh, the vertical sensitivity is good, so there, there's nothing nothing wrong with that. But what we want to focus on it are these right here: the swim sensitivity and flight sensitivity. Swimming is completely different. It's you're not meant to do agile stuff within the water. You're going to be very slow in the water. All right, you're gonna be very slow in the water. So flight sensitivity is forty. All right. This is this as you can read the the description. It says your aim sensitive for offline. This is how how jerky your mouse is going to make your flight go. All right. Um, if you want to make it super high and spin in a thousand circles and you know, as if like you're a as if you're like a you know a circle bot or something like that, you go ahead. You're not going to enjoy it because you're going to be bouncing off the walls like ping pong. Um, but this changes your sensitivity aiming. Okay. Now your light mouse precision is probably the most important one. It says change how much the mouse cursor precision is enhanced when making small mouse movements. This means if you just slightly bump your mouse, like your arm twitches, this will either match that perfectly and not overcompensate or it is going to just throw you out of the water. You're just gonna go right, hang a hard 180, and just slam into the ground, and you're not like you're gonna be like, what happened? So I have this set to 15. I haven't needed it to set higher. I don't need it like that. Um, I think it's good, but you know everyone's different. So this is where a lot of trial and error comes in, where you're gonna have to be flying around. All right. So now for the flight mouse response, change the character turn speed relates to the mouse position okay this is very important because if you have this set you're super high just like mouse precision mouse precision will take the game and say okay you're looking far right i'm going far right or well you moved your mouse uh you know an inch well that means you're going far right because you have these set so high so you're just going to go way off into the distance and just you're not going to be able to fly all right. Now the response means kind of, you know, how the character's turn speed relates to the mouse position. So how quickly your character is going to maneuver within the air according to your mouse movements. What that means is if you have a slow response time, like me, you have a slow response time. Um, it's going to be a little bit more precise, but you may have some issues doing some quick maneuvers. May. It varies between how quickly, you know, whatever your DPS, DPI is, and what your overall sensitivity is, okay? My flight sensitivity is 40%. Now, aiming would be, this is uh, what aiming is going to be. Let me mute the game sound so you can see. This is what aiming is going to be. Just right here. The reticule in front. Alright. So, 
that's what the aiming is going to be. So now for precision, see how my character, you see the, the, the center reticle, that little one? It's just me and my character just spinning in a circle. All right, and then it's going to line up. So that's one of the things you want to keep in mind is that unless you're holding that turn, you only have a limited window. See how it just readjusts? So you're not in an indefinite spin. But, yep. Yeah. Uh, so, it's very important that you spend time doing this. Because if I go ahead and go into go into the settings again, let's say I crank this. I crank this all the way up to 100. And I crank this up to 30%. I don't think I'm going to have a good time. Whoa. No, I'm not. You, you see the, the reticule? I can't really control it that well. I'm having issues like controlling it. So, yes, it looks like I'm flying perfectly, but I definitely would not be able to play like that. So it's that small reticule right there that you want to make sure. All right, and you want to take, you want to take this, set this. I recommend ten percent above your ground sensitivity. Back down. Um, I recommend it closer to your aim sensitivity, uh, just because it does allow you to do some stuff. All right, so. Go in. So, stupid rock. No, it, I mean, that's about it. You just want to spend some time before you actually get into the meat of the game. Okay. And just kind of get your sensitivity correct. It's a huge, it's a, it's a major part of the game, so you want to get it done. All right? So, thank you guys for joining. I will see you in the next one.